What's going on, trainers? Troy back here with episode 33 of Not Used Enough. And as you guys know, the Pokemon over there are just not used enough. And I really wanted to try out the uh, Mega Sceptile uh, just because I just haven't been seeing it a lot. And so if I don't see it, that means to me it's not used enough. So, yeah, uh, our records are up there. Let's get the battle to 40 likes. Uh, subscribe for more if you enjoyed it. It's your first time watching. And if it is your first time watching, you are subscribing. Thank you. And if you have been subscribing, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I gotta always uh, throw in the thanks there. Um, gonna hit challenge. Gonna start the music. So yeah, I hope I hope not asking for four likes is not too much because we did uh, not use enough last time. I asked for 30, 30 likes and it's like we got fifty. I'm like, oh maybe we could uh, you know uh, you know ask for a little bit more there. So watching TV as I go. I'm so, let me just turn off TV right there. Oh, okay, it's distracting me. We got a full EV team except for the uh, Pidgeot and the Altaria. Those are possibly Mega. He's not gonna bring both maybe. Um, I'm really reluctant on bringing, I'm glad he doesn't have Sylveon. I want to bring in Ambipalm. Ambipalm can do some work, that guy's whole team. Really can. Let's open an Ambipalm, bring in Sceptile just because I want to bring him. And what do I got for the Altaria? I ain't got, I ain't got Jack for that Altaria. I really don't. Can we ball it up and go for the, uh. Buffalo, let's bring a Buffalo. I feel like bringing Buffalo. Buffalo's always a, in my opinion, safe pick. Okay, so um, I don't. Yeah, we. So oh yeah, don't forget to leave Q and A's. I'll mention that before. You know, I'll always mention that. But yeah, don't forget to leave Q and A's because I I, I kind of ran out of Q and A's after I did the Christmas thing and answered a lot of them. But thank you guys for leaving them. And I think I might actually have one more, one or two, to answer after this one. So it opens up Leafeon. I know I'm faster than that guy. Let's just go for a fake out. We're going to double hit this guy. You know, regular stuff. Get a decent amount of damage on it, too. Does have the Rocky Helmet, though. Okay, so this thing's kind of bulky, maybe. But we are going to hit this guy with an... Actually, we're going to hit with an Acrobatics. I know it's not going to get a boost, but it is still going to be super effective. So, but it actually didn't work out in my favor anyway, and I do take more Rocky Helmet. That could be just a tanky Leafeon. Does go for a Leaf Blade. Will that kill? Ambipalm is frail, and yeah, he does go down. Wow, that the Leafeon, let me see the, let me see what kind of, um, it gets a lot of defense. Okay, okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. Remembering a Buffalon, could be faster than two. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a really bulky Leafeon, but I probably should have double hit. I really should have, uh, man, I'm making mistakes today. Making mistakes. Um, let's just go with this head charge. Oh, if he did have a Sylveon, I had Iron Head. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Am I faster? Like, I probably am not. I'm probably not. Let me get some water. Oh, Buffalo Rayman, he, he, he look angry. Synthesis, oh, oh boy. He, he don't, he don't know, man. He don't think he can take the hit. I think you can't, bro. Let's go for his head charge. Uh, can you take it? No, you can't. Hey, thanks for the synthesis. Peace out. Peace out, bro. You know, you didn't see my 100 to 0 video. Probably. Maybe not. But we do get some recoil there with the Rocky Helmet. The Rocky Helmet tanking Leafeon. Kind of, uh, kind of crazy. Okay, so next Pokemon is Altaria. I kind of want to save Altaria. Or Altaria. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Because I am predicting that is his Mega Evolution. And the only move I have for this Altaria is my Iron Head. And I am Choice Bandit, so I can't go into Iron Head. So we're going to bring in Sceptile, probably wasting off the Sceptile because uh, he is going to Mega Evolve and go for any kind of Fairy Attack. But I really feel like um, Buffalon might take this game home. So I want to I wanna trust that to the Buffalon. But yeah, he can hit me hard with uh, any move actually kind of stops me, which kind of scares me. But he does go for a Hyper Voice. That actually really won't do anything to begin. Oh, never mind. Oh, I got critted. No, thanks. Because I didn't Mega Evolve just yet. I could have actually lived that because it would have been neutral damage. But I get critted, so that was completely fair. So now it's up to Buffalo. He's going to have to bring this game home. Uh, it could still be faster. I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't Hyper Voice for me again because that didn't seem fair at all. It really didn't. I do take that like a G. Here comes the Iron Head. You might go down, good sir. Actually, never mind. I am. Oof. It was that crit did me, man. That crit did 
did it for me so much. It's almost not even fair. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. We're gonna take the loss. We'll take the loss. I mean, just complete luck. Because I could have came back. I could have done... Um, actually, Sceptile wouldn't be able to do anything to that guy, to be honest. But still, that crit kind of just hurt. Oh, well. So, our record's now 16-11. We're going to move into Q&A. I think I saw one or two I saved from not using on the uh, Christmas episode, which makes sense in my mind. Uh, someone did ask me, um, his, this guy's name is Still Disguised, which is, you know, a normal name, I guess. Uh, cool name, by the way. I don't know. Sorry. Um, are you going to do a Draw My Life anytime soon? I don't know if that's actual Q&A, but I'll take it as a question. And not anytime soon. No, I'm still like an early channel, man. I've only done eight, about eight months at this. I know it's like Draw My Life is, you know, your life. And, you know, um, I'm probably going to say that maybe my 10k subscriber, 20k. We'll see. We'll see. I know it might be jumping the gun a lot for saying, oh, I'm going to get 10k subscribers. Uh, who never, you never know, man. My, you know, this year could be huge for me. I'm still doing this, and um, yeah, uh, but uh, draw my life nine times soon. I'll say that right now. Sorry. One day, though. One day. A definite maybe. Uh, this one comes from Lucas. Favorite MOA 2014. My favorite MOA is probably starting YouTube, believe it or not, uh, as cheesy as that might sound. Um, probably just because it's like it gave me something to do, gave me a little meaning because I met a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people, you know, count on me, rely on me. They are entertained by me, so it's something I really, I really like. And, um, yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, I think I had one more. Uh, I think I didn't answer this one. I don't know if I did. This one comes from Shane. Ask Q&A. What is your opinion on Espeon for competitive VGC? I think Sylveon still outshines him in, like, the Evolution category. But I think still Sylveon's a better Evolution. But, I mean, if you're scared of status and you really want that Magic Bouncer, go for that. But people can still go for Mega uh, Sableye. But I don't think they're going to go Mega Sableye because that's wasting a Mega. So I could see maybe a few Espeons, and I wouldn't be surprised. And that's the best I can answer that one. So we're going to move into battle number Dose. We're done with Q&As. Hopefully we won't get critted a little bit because that wasn't really cool. But it happens. I, I get crits all the time, so I can't. I can't be mad because I, I, it happens to me too. So I see Electrode, uh, Ninjas, um, Blaziken. God, he's got four possible Megas on his team. Wow. Wow. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, Electrode, I really... Really, who should I bring? I kind of want to bring in Sceptile again. Just want to see him put in that work, you know? You know, I want to, I want to feature a Sceptile in the channel, so let's bring him. Um, I really don't feel like Zangus can do anything. He doesn't outspeed a lot of Pokemon on the team, so not going to do that. Let's go Buffalo. I think he could do some damage, and Alakazam could come up huge with that Focus Sash. So let's do that, too. Um, 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 let me see. Just checking stuff. Twitter acting like a, a, you know, Twitter's being all crazy. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, please follow me on Twitter. I, I, uh, I have some things going on Twitter, you know? So this guy, this guy goes Mega Blaziken. He could go for the Protect first turn. I am going to Mega Evolve. Block, like, any kind of move. So I think I feel safe with the Sword Stance. I feel safe with it. Um, but Blaziken Sceptile, man, that is, that is some Gen 3, uh, stuff right there. I am faster, because I Mega Evolve for some faster, but he is probably going to protect. Maybe. I don't even know what this guy doing. So I Sword Stance, so he didn't protect, that ain't good. I don't know what this guy going to do, and he's going to get the speed boost. So he Sword Stance. <laughs> oh, this ain't good. This is not good at all. He's automatically faster than me because that speed boost. No doubt in my mind, he's already faster than me. I get my stat change already, but he's all automatically faster than me. Let's hit him with the dragon. Let's see if we can take any hit this guy's going to throw at me. Now he's going to protect the extra speed boost to be for sure faster than me, even though I, he was probably faster than me to begin with. Um, fixing my hair. I'm a bit worried at this point. Um, darn. 
Let's go with another Dragon Claw. That's all I can do. So, I'm still faster! What? What? After two speed boosts, I still outsped? There's no way. There's no way. I'll take it, though. <laughs> that guy must have been, like, adamant nature or something, because if he was 299, and then with two speed boosts, I guess, because, like, my speed is, like, 420-something. Okay, uh, I'm a bit shocked right now that Sceptile can outspeed a two speed boost Blaze Kid, maybe because that guy was just, could have been adamant. Because Blaze Kid, man, goes up to 460 attack, that is insane. That guy's probably like, probably, he's taking so long because it's so communicating. He's probably like, did that just happen? <laughs> did that just happen? I can't believe that just happened. Because I'm looking at his stats right now, he gets 160 base, it goes up to 460 to level 100. I go by level 100 stats, I know like, it could be 419. Our 233 at level 50, I know it's different at level 50 because it's 152 at level 50. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I am definitely faster than this Electrode with a Sword Stance. Um, could go... Could go for the uh, Dragon Claw again. Hope you guys can hear the music. Um... It's a stab move. I could have Drain Punch yeah, opting in for that. So he's going to protect. <laughs> I, don't, I, he's, I don't know why, but okay. Um, I know Electros are fast Pokemon, but still. Uh, so, Sceptile, man. Man, we get that Sword Stance up. He seems hard to stop because he's obviously really fast. Because, uh, you know, built him that way. My friend made him that way, you know? So there's the Dragon Claw. He could be Sashed. He could be Sashed. And we're going to get him down the sash. Yeah, but he can't do any electric moves on me. So that really uh, obviously helps. There's the lightning rod. That is going to boost my attack eve or my special attack. So now we're going to um, go to Dragon Claw again. I wouldn't be surprised if the guy forfeit. There's the forfeit. He figured out he can't do anything. Okay, so we get a really crazy loss. Last one. And we get a forfeit this time. Um... Let's do one more battle because this one felt quick. I'd feel really bad if I just ended on that kind of note. I am really tired. I'm extremely tired. I want to go to bed, but uh, that was a quick battle. I can do another one. I won't do, um, yeah. And I'll, I'll bring, like, Zangoose. Let's bring a Zangoose. Or, I don't know. Let's see what the team, see what the team looks like. But Sceptile came up huge. All I got to say. Whoops, I froze my thing. I took off my thing. There we go. There's my mouse. Hey. Okay, so battle number three on not use enough. This guy's got a complete VGC team. That's Mega Glade. I can already call it. Let's open up Baby Pong because I see Tyrantar, I see a Mawa, I see a lot of stuff. Um, I can bring an Octillery because I see he does have the Mawa. He could bring it and I could Flamethrower it. I have not a lot for that. Uh, I don't have much for that Talonflame, sadly. The only thing I can handle a Talonflame is probably the Alakazam. Maybe. I said I wanted to bring Zangoose, but I don't know now. I really don't know. Let's bring a Buffalo, Ami Palm, and Alakazam. I, I felt weird about that one, but yeah. Let's bring an Alakazam. I'm making my thumbnail as I, uh, because I'm so tired. I want to get this video out. It's like, man, I got, like, I got to make my thumbnail. I got to get all my uh, YouTube stuff ready. Right. So as soon as the uh, video goes, or as soon as I, I'm done recording, this battle's going up. And this guy's still selected, it seems. I got time to do whatever I want. And I can empty my recycle bin as I go at that. That was probably not even relevant. <laughs> I'm just, I'm crazy. I'm just so tired, man. I'm so tired. So it does open the Talon Flame. Gonna go for a fake out, get some damage, and then we're gonna switch in to somebody else because I feel like Um I feel like Wow it did a lot of damage. Whew. I don't think Amy Pong can take a break bird. I really don't. I'd love in a world I'd love him to take it, but he can't. He just can't. Man, I, I got cock blocked by a um 
by a talent flame earlier and it just wrecked my uh ambi pump. I guess I gotta switch into Buffalo and hope Buffalo can take a few hits. Or I might as well just keep uh, I don't know what to do. The priority Brave Bird Man can just stop a whole team. It really can't unless you have more priority. I wish I had quick attack now, I really did. I know I can't take it, I really can. Let's just go for a double hit, whatever, whatever. Because I want to bring in Buffalon to take the Braver, then kill it on a switch, so he'll even up the game. He could be choice banded. No, he's life orbed. No, he's, no, that's recall. My bad. Sorry, sorry. Sorry for not paying attention. <laughs> Hope you guys can hear the music, kinda. So I'm gonna bring Buffalo up. Buffalo should be able to take care of business. As he always does. Um, any move will kill. I was about to hit Earthquake, which would have made me seem really lame. I'm just going for the Iron Head. I want to take any any unnecessary recoil. I'm probably going to switch him out anyway. Um, which would probably... Wait, that was a bad move. Oh my gosh. I didn't want a Wild Charge because he could bring in... Um, what do you bring in now? That is definitely a good question. Um, brought in the T Tar. That was a. Gr oh my gosh, that was perfect because <laughs> I can probably like do a heck ton of damage to this Tyranitar. Man, I have totally predicted that completely. That was all me. That was I. I calculated that a hundred percent. But he's got weakness policy. No, <laughs> that's not good. I could probably take another hit though. I'm gonna go for another Iron Head though. Um, I could still be faster, could I? I don't know. I could obviously two-shot this thing, and I don't think he can one-shot me, really. So there's a stone edge. That could, could kill. It, oh, man, four health buff a lot. Get in there, bro. Thank you. You're going to go down to the, uh, the sensor. But I don't care. Buffalo came up huge. He takes the stone edge weakness policy like a G. And then I called the iron head on the Tyrantar switch. Oh, this couldn't get any better. Oh man, coming up so huge right now. I cannot even, can't even right now, man. Bufflon, man, you are, you are the hundred zero king sometimes. Okay, so I got a focus sash, Alakazam, so that's gonna help. That is definitely gonna help. That looks really weird. Okay, so. I throw it? Okay. Um. So we had Teleflame, that's right. The Brave Bird's gonna get me down to the Sash. And then I'm gonna die to Sandstorm. Oh my gosh! I just realized that. That is so lame. Let's just Psychic this guy. He's gonna U turn me. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. That gets you down to my Sash. And no matter what, that critted me! Oh my god! Wow, I could have. I'm not even so sure. If I would have got this out, down to the sash, anyone, I'm pretty sure I would. That wouldn't have got me down to my sash. But the crit, oh man, it was such a good battle with the buffalo, bro. <laughs> I psychic this thing too. That is not gonna do any damage. And he knew. He knew. Now that I'm gonna die, that he got so like two crits, man. All the crits. Super hacks. Super hacks, man. I got critted first game. I got critted this game. Ah, oh, that's that's my time to stop. Okay, so. Our record's now 17 and 12. So we get three, two losses and a win. Whatever. Whatever. <sighs> so, a little, a little salty about that one. Either way. Okay, so we're going to end it here. Um, probably tomorrow, because this is Monday, the 29th. Tuesday, the 30th, you will see my uh, special upload I've been saving that I just got done finished editing. You will see that. That is for, like, the end of the year, like, you know... New Year's video. It's going to be a great video. Uh, I hope everybody likes it. So expect that tomorrow. Pokemon Tier History should also be out later today too. So expect that. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll just end the video there. Leave the Q&As before they go. Uh, 40 likes and subscribe and all that. So thanks for watching. Good luck in all your next battles. And as always, I'll see all you guys next time.